Hey, I'm going to show you how to generate a Word document using Power Automate. So it means that the data from a SharePoint list or from anything really, we could even have data on Excel, can be generated, can be inserted in, in Word automatically. So why do we need to do that? We need a SharePoint list, of course, that's for my example. We will need one with column name metadata, so maybe a address, name, etc. Then we need a Word document where we can move this data, it's called fields in, in Word. And then we need a Power Automate, of course, so that we can read the data in SharePoint and place it into Word. Okay, so let's get crack on. So I'm going to use the simple template called new. Uh, I'm going to do a list actually. And now we have template, which is pretty cool because one of them is, I'm going to take the example of a event itinerary. So it looks like this, I just use the template and I go ahead and create it with data. Here we go, so I have created my event itinerary and in fact I'm going to use it for event but for training sessions. So I've just added one column for participants, have a bit of code etc, code for like session code. So that I know um, how long my participants are, when my participants are going to come to the training. So what I would like is to have a Word document now to invite them, to let them know about the training is confirmed and uh, the address maybe. So let's switch to Word. Going to find also a template. Oh, not the party. That's a bit too much, isn't it? So let's go to the next one. Event name, create. So this document comes with a few things. I'm going to say training uh, is soon. And within all the placeholder, I'm going to delete for now. And I want to tell the name of the person. So I want to make it personalized. So here I'm going to add this thing in the developer toolbar. So developer toolbar needs to be added. It's, there's a setting in files to, to display this. Once we're in developer toolbar, it allows us to just say there. And then I'm going to put a text field here. So it's called a content, con content control. So I just add the text field. So I'm going to say, Dear Mister, your training sessions for the... And then here we have a date as well, right? So here I'm going to say training start, which is the date on, and the time of the training start. I select it and I do content control because the previous one I didn't. So I forgot to actually add the name of this content control, which is a bit annoying because now I need to go into the properties and give it a name again. Or even better, I can just delete it and then I just select attendee, I type attendee, select it, add a content control text. Here we go. So let's say your training control for the start until training and and then I would just say is confirmed just to make it short. So here I just add text control. So we don't use the other ones. We don't really use anything like this because the text, the type of the field is going to be done in Power Automate. So there's no problem. Uh, is confirmed. So I type a few more things. Then maybe I'm going to tell them a, as a reminder. Let's not put it here. Over there, I'm going to remove this placeholder, remove all this and just say reminder of the course. And the reminder of the course is also, let's say course outline, select this. And again, text took control. So it means that all this control have now the name that they have as a, as a control, as a field. So I can then use it in my Power Automate. Next step, of course, I'm going to save this uh, word. So I do file and I need to save it on SharePoint, right? So I'm going to do save as I see on my recent, I already have document. And let's put it inside uh, the general so that it can even be used in, uh, in Teams. And this one is my training invitation confirmation.
Okay, so we have our document in SharePoint. If I go to general, I have my file here, training confirmation. So all I need is to now go into my, my uh, Power Automate and create an automation, which may be automatic because every time I'm going to add a new event in the list, then it will generate the document. So I can do that from automated or I can go to my list, even itinerary, and I will do look, automate and then create a rule. But from that, I will just say, oops, not this one. I will just say, uh, okay, they're trying to be very clever here. So when a new is being created, then I don't want to send an email. That's very annoying, isn't it? Trying to tell us what to do. So what I want is a brand new automation. So I'll go to manage my rule and have a brand new one. So let's go and do it in Power Automate directly. So we automate the cloud. So I'm going to say send, uh, not send, generate word document on new item in the event list. So new item is usually an item in the list in SharePoint. So if I do when an item is created and I click next or create, I'm going to select the site. Site is my dev site. We have a list inside, which is called event. Here we go, event itinerary. So when a new item is created in this list, I want to, now automatically, I want to start talking to Word. So let's try to see if Word has something. And we can see Word online. There are other things, by the way, and I sometimes talk about third party as well. So what we can do here is that we can populate. So we don't want to yet put it as PDF because it doesn't exist. We want to populate a Word template. And yes, there may be premium uh, licenses implication as well. So from that, where is my template? We know that it's in dev as well. So where's my dev? Can I type dev here? It's in the library, the main one, which is shared document or document. Uh, here we go. And we have it inside a library. So we have it inside general. And then we can select training confirmation. You just found one Word document here, so it's even easier. Yeah. Now, this is the magic happen. It just pulled all my fields from the Word document, the one that I created earlier. Brilliant, because now attendee, I can place a value for my attendee. And my, the value of attendee is in the list. So it's in the list when I'm getting a new item. New item has been created. So attendee, I call it participant. Training start, I called it, um, it was automatic in my list in the template. So it was called start. Then we have the training end. Let's do a search and date. And the outline was a little bit different in my case. I think I used uh, I used session to, to do description I used. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. If I save it already, it's going to generate my Word document. But the small issue here is that the Word document will be generated, but it's not actually going to exist as a file. And that's quite a, an important uh, item. So the next one is to save the file. So to save the file, I'm going to use a new operation SharePoint file. And I have my create file around here, create file, SharePoint. So again, where is my source? So it's my dev site. Where am I going to create the file? So that's a little bit different from the previous one because the first one here, we are using a Word document, a Word template. So this one, training confirmation, is my template, whereas the new one created will be the file where I have file for each participant, a Word document for each participant. So the location, I will put it similarly anyway, into my document. So we have this here, share document. Then we were using general, so let's just using here, but um, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to go 
one step back, click General. And this one, we have to make sure that the new Word document is not going to have the same name, or it's not going to work. So this one is a new, or oh, let's say a session invite confirmation. And then let's give the name of the person so that the file will be unique. So the person is called participant. Here we go. And I'm going to say that it's a docx. So now is the, uh, how do we transfer from this file? The template has populated a new Word document. We need to move all the binary of this file inside a proper file. So we just have to select here. It's the populate and we select Microsoft Word. So let's start testing this already. And that would be a good start for most of you who wants to create and generate Word document. So I'm back on my even itinerary and uh, let's just do a copy because if we do a copy then it will be understood as just a new item and my workflow my power automate is starting on a new item so I just copy everything here and what I will change is let's go one step back is uh, superman user because that's my user to make sure that I uh, locate him. And if I click outside, it's starting to save. If it saves, then it kicks the power automate straight away.